new floor plan at the time of this filming. 2570 Rear Living Summerland, which is the, um, I guess you call it simplified member of the Springdale family. A very uh, a brand I respect a lot. I, I really, really like having Summerlands out here because they do their job well and I never have to apologize for them. And what I mean by that is the, the number one thing I dislike is when we sell a customer a trailer and it comes back the next day and needs work. That drives me nuts. And we've tried really hard to find brands that don't do that. This is most definitely the forefront of those leaders. In fact, in the realm of common constructed travel trailers, meaning wood frame and aluminum skin, the Springdale series is literally the only trailer that won the Dealer Satisfaction Index Award this year. The only one that won the DSI Award. That's impressive. That tells me they're getting their job done. That award is based on uh, service records, customer satisfaction, all sorts of things. So this is a this is a product that absolutely lives up to its promises. Um, bigger, wider baggage door here to get in and out. By the way, if you want to know what this thing's running or what we have in stock down here in the video description, there's a link that says check for price and availability. Get a little dust particle. There we go. Um, bigger, wider baggage compartment gives you uh, easier access to a lot of storage there. And this is, like I said, a simplified series of camper, but it, it's not a cheap built one and it has really smart equipment. I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's just, it's equipped the way it should be for to serve its purpose. Um, uh, who is this for? If you've never had an RV, or let's say the kids are done camping and you don't need a bunkhouse anymore, or you just don't want to get a big, long, heavy thing for couples camping, this is perfect. This is a new class of slightly smaller rear living rooms. They'll save you anywhere from 500 to about 1,000 pounds as compared to a traditional rear living like this. And, uh, uh, you know, a couple, two or three feet, and that adds up, you know. Um, the uh, Summerlin series has a power awning that is easy tilt with LED lighting, power stabilizer jacks, standard, enclosed, forced air heated underbelly. They don't do a good job of telling you about this. They have the sticker on the side that says Arctic package. Well, what does that mean? Okay, what was that? Well, it's uh, underbelly enclosure with a forced air heating to the underbelly which is so uncommon in the, uh, you call it starter point trailers. The trailer, starter point trailers don't have that alone. Then they take the furnace and they make that uh, larger, the uh, about 20% larger. In fact, the normal furnace in this class is going to be 20 to 25,000 BTUs. Let's give them the benefit of, say, 25,000. They make this 20% bigger and give it a 30,000 BTU furnace, which is awesome. So you've got uh, more heat to more places in a smaller coach. It's gonna do just fine. Uh, big, long power awning too. Uh, starter class campers usually have starter class features. They'll have like a 12 foot awning. This is huge, this is like a 20 foot awning, maybe more. And it's got a full length LED light strip. And when I say easy tilt awning, it's literally two fingers and you can pitch that awning down like 12 inches. It's awesome. Uh, this is ready for a bumper mounted grill. Grill's not gonna come with it from the factory. If you don't like the bracket, take it off, store it in the underbelly or the front pass-through or in the garage or whatever, no big deal. But there is a propane line run to the back, so if you wanna bring your own grill, you can. Little campers don't usually have double entry doors, and that's one of my favorite things. And notice how both entry doors are cleared by several feet by the awning. This is a very, very well planned out and well executed trailer. It's got a very nice come and go flow to it. You know, you've got what I would call your primary entry door back here, but you've got another entry door that goes right to the bathroom or the hallway, not direct to the bedroom. So you still have some bedroom privacy. And that is so uncommon in double entry doors uh, in a smaller RV like this. It's, they just, they did really well. I, I'm really a big fan of these. Um, your interior uh, decor, could be a little different. This is called Kona, which is brown. There used to be coffee, which was brown. There's like four other colors that are brown, and one has a little bit of blue or gray in it. You know, they, they are all neutral, everybody. So if you like everything in this except the pillows, chances are the other pillows are going to be just as brown in a different way. <laughs> Makes sense it, once you see them. Doesn't make sense if you think about it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Um, if at any point, uh, like I said, you like what you see here, there's a link in that video description. Just click, uh, it says check for price and availability, or God forbid, pick up the phone and speak to a living, breathing human being to see what we have in stock. And we polish our prices, and that doesn't change if you do or don't have a trade. The price is the price is the price, and we don't have hidden fees, people. I, that drives me nuts. Like, if you go to a place 
and they tell you that the, I, I can guarantee in Michigan, there's at least three other dealerships that will advertise a lower price on this trailer. Then they're going to start hitting you with destination fees and prep fees and every other fees and fees for fees. Um, by the time you're done, I, I, we're almost always cheaper, almost every time. And we're simple and easy to work with, you know? Well, I'm simple. I don't know about easy to work with. Anyway, <laughs> my wife says I'm simple. <laughs> so, like a normal rear living room, we got the, 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 the twin rocking chairs. And, man, look at the windows on this thing. Windows, big time, even uh, windows over here. Tons of light coming in here. Um, you've got plenty of room. I, I love how open and spacious this is. Just a normal, traditional couples camper. Basically, all they did was they took the sofa out of a super slide and cut that out to just give you a, a U dinette. So uh, a lot of trailers in this category, they're going to have a two bench dinette and then just a little jackknife sleeper sofa, neither of which are really good for sleeping. So instead they kind of condense the slide out and you cut out about a third of the length doing that. You don't cut out the full length of a sofa when you go from a two bench to a U dinette. But now we have more storage, we have a more comfortable place to sit and we have a bigger sleeping space if you need supplemental sleeping. It's a win, 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 win. Uh, all LED lights in here. Actually, the, I should have talked more about this. The quality and reliability factors and how they build these are very impressive to me. Um, they're huge about fighting heat expansion and contraction at Springdale. You can't see it. And you look at this, you say it's a bag, it's a cabinet door like every other cabinet door. And I can understand why you'd say that because you can't see it. And I didn't know this for a long time. I sold these for years and didn't know it. There's actually little Teflon glides inside the insert of this door. This insert can literally wiggle and shift a little bit so that when it's rattling down the road in transit, or when the heat causes it to expand and contract, it doesn't stress your mortise and tenon joints so your cabinets don't split. Your uh, cabinet door, or cabinet styles here, they're pocket screwed, not stapled. It's, it's just better, longer lasting construction. This has a one piece floor. There's no seam in this floor. It's Dynaspan floor decking, literally the exact same floor decking you have in a Montana luxury fifth wheel, people. Uh, this has this has a Montana floor, and I, I mean that, like, almost literally. There's almost no difference between them. That's so impressive to me. That's so impressive that they put the same time, attention, and detail into what's under this linoleum that they put into a, a Montana that could be sixty dollars to $80,000. That's incredible to me. Um, simple camper. We do have simple entertainment systems, though you can obviously upgrade this at will easily anytime after market. Um, you'll, you've got a, uh, app enabled Bluetooth stereo down here. So, uh, there's the app called the J control. I think it's J dash control, Jensen control. Basically you can turn your phone into a Bluetooth wireless remote control. And even though you don't see a TV in these standard in the Summerlin series versus the Springdale, the big brother, think of this like the LS instead of the LT guys. It, hopefully that helps you make sense, but it is still satellite prepped. It's funny. They still have the ability to upgrade this to any level that you want. They didn't um, encapsulate your entertainment value that way. So small campers, what manufacturers will often do is they'll shrink back the overhead counter uh, or overhead cabinet space to the point that it's often unusable. And here's how you tell. When you're shopping around, you do what I call the dinner plate test. You grab the uh, microwave tray, you put it in there, and see if you can shut the door. It ain't going to be a problem here in a summer one. It might be a problem in other brands. Uh, price pointed brands will often omit windows by the kitchen. You need that airflow and that light. It's awesome. And we have the double outlets in the kitchen. You've got all kinds of good drawer space, so you're not hurting there. Pull out sprayer faucet. Everything you need. Some of these appliances might be simpler versions of what you might find in, say, like a Big Brother Springdale or something, but they're all functional. They're all perfectly functional. This is, this is built this is well constructed, and then it's it's equipped up to an appropriate logical level. That's what I like about these. They are so so straightforward. Um, John from YouTube, I, I, I your name's Gritzback or something like that. You, you always seem to like these summer ones. Like you get it, you understand that they're everything you need and nothing you don't. Centralized floor heating, centrally uh, ducted AC up top. You know everything that matters. Now they did a pretty cool thing here. For, uh, this is either uh, overflow like pantry space or linen space, although you do have a dedicated linen uh, cabinet actually right here in the bathroom. So you don't have to go into the hallway to get towels. You know, when I close this, we've got plenty of leg room here. It, it's, it's sufficient. You could have a bigger bathroom, 
but it's it's sufficient. It gets the job done. We still have a medicine cabinet instead of just a mirror. They have all the the, the necessities, as Baloo would say. The bare necessities. Anyway, so that bathroom door, well, door next to the bathroom, I guess you could call that. It's a, almost a direct bathroom entry door, but it gets the job done. You know, simple, but effective. Um, you could definitely, I mean, they could dress up this bedroom, but it wouldn't function better. This is a pure function uh, trailer. It, you know, they don't spend money on fashion items just to spend money on fashion items. Everything in this works, and it works super well. You still got outlets up by your headboard, charge your phones, run your breathing machines. A little hidden laundry chute over there. You see that silver handle? That actually lifts up for uh, laundry chute access. Um, it just... It does everything, but it doesn't overdo stuff. It does what it needs to where it needs to. You're you're paying for pure value. You're not paying for fluff and filler. That's what I like about these. And they don't I'm, they don't come back to our shop. I can't stress that enough. Um, and that's true of not just Summerlin. The whole Springdale, really, frankly, the whole Keystone family. I I've been very impressed with their service record. I, I just incredibly so. Um, they are a brand that historically speaking. Um, I was less than impressed with. And then the more I started researching them and the more we started selling them and how I started noticing they never come back for service, the whole Keystone family is just really dialed in, guys. Um, you know, th this being a Springdale, this is actually a member of Keystone's number one selling family. They build and sell more Springdales than anything else. This is their highest volume product. They sell more Springdales than any, actually their top two fifth wheels combined. And yet, it still has a stellar service record. The only quality award winner in its class for 2016. That's so incredible. So give us a call, learn more. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.